Jesus. Yimach Shemo Vizichro. Create a new Torah. Told people, no, no. Um, uh, I'm not here to change it. I'm here to fulfill it. But then, yeah, you're allowed to violate Shabbat though. That's why the Gemara in Masichet Shabbat, I actually just saw this last night, it says that Rabban Gamliel and his sister, Ima, Ima Shalom, his sister was married to Rabbi Eliezer ben Hokinos. Tzadikit, Kodesh Kodeshim, mentioned several times in the Gemara. We also learned about modesty from her of men. Modesty of men, of how modest Rabbi Eliezer ben Hokinos was. But here in his Gemara Masechet Shabbat, it says that Ima Shalom and Rabban Gamliel, her brother, knew of a certain heretic, philosopher type, that was a judge. But he was actually a judge that was a crooked judge. And they wanted to expose him. How are we going to expose him? No one's going to believe us. Okay, so let's create a case. So they go to him as a brother and sister that are disputing over the inheritance of their parents that died. And she says, listen, in our Torah, it's uh, before, before the case starts, she gives the judge, she gives the judge a golden lamp. And she says, uh, you know, listen, in our Torah it says that uh, we should have, you know, the inheritance goes to the boys. If, there's, uh, if, there, if the parents have sons, the inheritance goes to the sons. And nothing is given to the daughters. So what should I do? Should I get nothing? The judge that got a bribe from her already goes, no, no. Since, since your Moshe Rabbeinu has died and everything and the destruction of the temple, we don't follow the story. We have a different book. We find out through the commentary, what's this different book? New Testament. It's a New Testament. We don't listen to this Moshe Rabbeinu anymore. You're going to get your half. Just come back tomorrow, we'll finalize things. So the next day before the case starts, Rabban Gamliel gives him a fancy schmancy donkey. It's like giving a guy a, 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 a Bentley. Giving him a Ferrari as a bribe. He says, so here, so he says, oh, almost final. He goes, yeah, but I actually... What I wanted to tell you guys is that in our book, it doesn't say that our, your Torah is not relevant anymore. He actually said he's hit to fulfill your Torah, meaning he just changed his mind again. Yes. Yes, this is actually said in the Gemara. I saw it just last night, two nights ago. I was studying after the show a little bit. And... You see, this is in the Gemara. There's a censor, there's a censure. That the, that the Catholic Church removed the names of the Christians in different parts of the Gemara, but if you understand and you know a few things, you can find it. And there's actually original Gemara's that have the real names and so on. But the point is, they actually mention the verse that's actually in the New Testament that says, I'm not here to destroy it, I'm here to fulfill the law of Moses, and we all know that's all in the New Testament. So Rabban Gamliel and his sister Ima Shalom says, Ah, you see, see, Yesterday, there was light, meaning symbolizing the bribe they gave him yesterday with the golden lamp. But today, he rode off with a donkey. My donkey kicked your light. So the audience understood the message. Ah, yesterday they gave him a bribe, and he had one opinion. Today, he got another bribe, he had a different opinion. Why? The green don't have an instruction set. Their instruction set is whatever fits today. Whatever fits today. And that's Christianity, Rabotai. That's Catholicism. That's whatever is convenient. Now, for the Goim to make such a foolish mistake, they're putting their eternity on the line. But for a Jew to make the same mistake and pick and choose the laws that he feels like following is no less than stupid. 
Who are you to change the law? So when a person is really seeking the truth, he should disregard where the truth came from. If it came from me, a new Baal Tshuva, or it came from a famous rabbi, or it came from a small rabbi, or a big rabbi, or a donkey, it doesn't make a difference. Is it true? Is the intention true? So if one person takes the message the right way, then this could turn into a constructive debate that could help people do tshuva, that could help the name of Hashem become sanctified. If a person does not take it the right way, then it can turn into a big chilul Hashem, and it can actually hurt Am Yisrael. 